So this is how you wake up and just go do something. Sometimes there's those days to where it comes natural and like, all right, you have plans made, you have all these things you wanna do. You're like, okay, I'm gonna go do those things. And some of you guys may make a list or you have like a to-do list that you wanna get done and you do that, you accomplish it and that's what you do. But there's those days where you wake up and you're like, man, what am I gonna do today? And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, lately I've just been like, man, what what is there to do today? And the one thing that I never wanna do is get to the point to where I don't have anything to accomplish during the day. So what I've figured out what really works for me what really helps me and I think it can really help you guys is once I want to achieve something and even if I don't even know what I want to achieve but I just want to achieve something I want to get something done is well first and foremost I start off the day I pray and then I read and that just really helps me out and then it gives me ideas like yo this is what God says I am and who I am so let me go be who I'm supposed to be that's really what I want to do that's what I want to live out to do is like yo when God tells me I am somebody that I can be who he says I am when he says that I prosper and that I'm rich and that I can do all these things through Christ who gives me strength then like why not go do all these things that I can do you know I have to start off my day and go do something then it sparks stuff up and then it starts new things like this channel wanted to start it if I didn't go do something and it sparked up an idea like yo I want to start a YouTube channel so that's kind of how this whole thing came about just something little like me going to do something can spark up something that could be something big you know like the person who created Apple uh, like who created Macintosh or created Apple computers he just went out and did something from a filmmaking standpoint point I kind of know the backstory of how computers came out to be and like I've seen movies on how they created computers they back then people were kind of crazy but like for him to create a com or for two people or like a group of people to come up with a computer and come up with the ideas just like taking it from gaming to if and then to like such a huge thing that every college student has a computer nowadays every business has computers and multiple computers schools have computers see what that little like spark of an idea just like grew up to be became like this huge flame wildfire that took over the whole world that's just something you can do like once you want to do something you can do it one of the analogies I used the other day was that having a computer was impossible at one point because of the fact that there wasn't computers and me even thinking like how do you create a computer you know that's just one of those things is like yo it was impossible but now it's possible it was possible the whole time it was just impossible for our brains to comprehend at one moment we got through there so think there's po possible things right now that seem impossible right now but we're looking at it at a time standpoint like I can't dang let me try to give you an analogy all right it's impossible for me to be a millionaire right now in this second right here but it's it's possible if I work my way up to it you know what I'm saying everybody sees time as a physical kind of thing I have money right now so why can't I be a millionaire right now the amount of cash I have in my bank account doesn't tell me whether I'm a millionaire or not because I have money so if I can spend money then what's the point what's the difference between me spending money and a millionaire spending money say I buy a candy bar and a millionaire bike buys a candy bar what's what's the difference and screw it like if I wanted to buy a car I'll go buy a new car I don't care man I got I'm, I'm a millionaire man Hey, but right now I'm about to be skateboarding in some pantuflas. It's some pan. Actually, I think it would be pretty smart to put on some actual skate shoes. I'm trying to get that new trick alert. I think I've literally landed that trick maybe once in my whole lifetime. And I don't know, I'm stoked. <laughs> Usually how skateboarding goes, I always keep telling myself, one more try, usually after like the 10th try. And then, I don't know, it's usually worth it after you land it. Yeah, I'm tired, dude. I learned a new trick today, that uh, Nolly backside flip. That was new, at the backside flip again. I should be getting more consistent on that. If I keep doing it, consistency comes with keep doing something. I'll leave that at that so I'm not talking the whole time. I'm actually gonna go to Target right now, pick up this uh, shampoo, and I've been wanting the shampoo for a really, really, ever since I had dreadlocks. Should work really good on my hair, so let's go do that. Yo, I legit can't find it right now. Last time I was here, it was like a different aisle, but they switched things up.
So guys, I ran out of shampoo about a week or maybe two weeks ago. So lately, I've, I've just been rinsing my hair with water. And that's about it. I'm definitely going to feel way better after I actually do a real cleanse or shampoo or whatever. And I've never used this before, so I'm really excited to see how it turns out. It's weird saying I'm excited to try out a shampoo. When you have dreadlocks, you kind of understand. You'd be like, dang, like this might feel good. This is probably going to be like, I don't know. All I know is when I do ACV rinses, my hair feels super nice and my scalp is nice. So hopefully this does the same thing. I really think it does. I know Knotlocks used it. I feel like John Smith might have used it. Maybe not. I feel like he actually, maybe he did. I don't know. Uh, Lauren Hill. I haven't seen her in a while. Is that her name? No, no. Lauren Jackson. What the heck? Lauren Jackson. All these people use it. So I definitely want to try it. And it is time to commence shampooing for real, for real. And this gives me an opportunity to actually make a guns log video, guys. I haven't made a guns log video and you guys seen how long. It's been a while. It's been a really long time. And I'm kind of bummed out I haven't made a video in a while, but I do have some ideas and some things that lined out that I want to do. Some including Dunate, maybe including Diddy again, but it's a whole bunch of fun stuff. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that. And I'm definitely going to be dropping this guns log video tomorrow. So stay tuned. All right, it's actually out today since th today's video and that guns log video is going to be dropping on the same day. So stay tuned for that. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is what you wear when you a gangster like me. A true G. Don't plus play. Dang it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm actually shooting this video for Guns Lock right now. I'm going to make some to eat right now. And I'm just going to let my hair dry. I use that shampoo. It's... If you guys haven't seen the video on Guns Lock, what are you guys doing? Go check it out. <laughs> Bull. I'm going to be making some hash browns. And I think I'll use some bell peppers. Bell peppers. I'll make it somehow. I'll probably put the bell peppers in the chicken. And eat this on the side. Oh uh, snap. So we got the barkies first and foremost. This is definitely needed. Someone actually snapped me right or not even snapped me. They sent me an Instagram uh, DM or I am whatever. And then they said that A and W is better. I definitely had to delete that. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> Hashies with the sriracha, you know what I'm saying? You got the designs right here, it's looking fresh. Then you got the peppers and the chicken right under it, man. Now this meal is gonna be fire, but I could definitely just drink this Rudy's and I'll be straight. So like I mean I could, but you know you man's gotta get some protein. All right, y'all, so your guy just took the towel off his head, finished eating, finished up all that. I was watching YouTube, we're looking for apartments. We are looking for a new place to stay, like you guys have been updated with us lately, but we are looking for a new place to stay, and then we're gonna go searching for stuff. We went, I was online right now, me and Chandler were looking up some stuff throughout this morning and throughout the afternoon a little bit, and we found some pretty cool looking ones and really ones that we would like and we feel like it would fit for us, and the location is really nice, it's very convenient for everything. It can be a lot of work, but once we break through that barrier, get through that wall, and open that door to like actually the next step it's gonna be fine this is gonna be like that little season of not struggle but like yo I have to stay focused I have to stay persistent and consistent and keep doing my thing and just gotta keep doing that in order to get what I really want you know that's one of the things you have to do so we're gonna keep looking keep or keep our eyes open and really find something that we really like that's what we're looking for right now gang <laughs> Yo, me and Young Diva are heading to Candace's right now before church. We're gonna go kick it over there for a little bit. Probably play some soccer or something. And then just max and relax. We got church tonight. Chandler actually is heading up, or already up there. He is working AV today, so that's cool. Cool beans, man, cool beans. Chicka chick, but let's do it, man. Let's do it and do it. Yeah, we'll get those ones. We all came to Fry's because we're getting tortillas. Candice has made tacos. Thanks, Candice. You're the best. Candice is the best, to tell you the truth. Yeah. But we're going to have some tacos at our crib. We're all coming over to Chandler and Diddy in the back. We're going to be eating. And then after that, nothing. All right, guys. Today was a good day. I'm not sure if I vlogged when we were eating or anything like that. I know I went live on Instagram. So if you guys have not yet followed me on Instagram, I'm going to go check it out. It's just gone through the great. And... Go do that. But I was live at Candace's house. It was a good time. Everyone was there, so it was really fun and awesome time. If you guys were on the Instagram live, that's super dope. Glad you guys were on that. Like I said, if you guys have not yet followed me on Instagram, it's just gone through the great. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.